Global Spread of H5N1, Wikipedia Article Audio The global spread of highly pathogenic H5N1 influenza in birds is considered a significant pandemic threat. While other H5N1 influenza strains are known, they are significantly different from a current, highly pathogenic H5N1 strain on a genetic level, making the global spread of this new strain unprecedented. The H5N1 strain is a fast-mutating, highly pathogenic avian influenza virus found in multiple bird species. It is both epizootic and panzootic. Unless otherwise indicated, H5N1 in this timeline refers to the recent highly pathogenic strain of H5N1. Human Cases Timeline Since 1997, studies of H5N1 influenza indicate that these viruses continue to evolve, with changes in antigenicity and internal gene constellations an expanded host range in avian species and the ability to infect felids, enhanced pathogenicity in experimentally infected mice and ferrets, in which they cause systemic infections, and increased environmental stability. Notes Tens of millions of birds have died of H5N1 influenza and hundreds of millions of birds have been slaughtered and disposed of to limit the spread of H5N1. Countries that have reported one or more major highly pathogenic H5N1 outbreaks in birds are, South Korea, Vietnam, Japan, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Indonesia, China, Malaysia, Russia, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, Turkey, Romania, Croatia, Ukraine, Cyprus, Iraq, Nigeria, Egypt, India, France, Niger, Bosnia, Azerbaijan, Albania, Cameroon, Myanmar, Afghanistan, Israel, Pakistan, Jordan, Burkina Faso, Germany, Sudan, Ivory Coast, Djibouti, Hungary, United Kingdom, Kuwait, Bangladesh, Saudi Arabia, Ghana, Czech Republic, Togo, Nepal, and Bhutan. Highly pathogenic H5N1 has been found in birds in the wild in numerous other countries, Austria, Bulgaria, Denmark, Greece, Iran, Italy, Poland, Serbia, and Montenegro, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland. Surveillance of H5N1 in humans, poultry, wild birds, cats, and other animals remains very weak in many parts of Asia and Africa. Much remains unknown about the exact extent of its spread. H5N1 has low pathogenic varieties endemic in birds in North America. H5N1 has a highly pathogenic variety that is endemic in dozens of species of birds throughout South Asia and parts of Africa. So far, it is very difficult for humans to become infected with H5N1. The presence of highly pathogenic H5N1 around the world in both birds in the wild and in chickens and turkeys on farms has been demonstrated in millions of cases with the virus isolate actually sequenced in hundreds of cases yielding definitive proof of the evolution of this strain of this subtype of the species influenza virus A. 1959-1997 According to Robert G. Webster the epicenters of both the Asian influenza pandemic of 1957 and the Hong Kong influenza pandemic of 1968 were in Southeast Asia, and it is in this region that multiple clades of H5N1 influenza virus have already emerged. The Asian H5N1 virus was first detected in Guangdong Province, China, in 1996, when it killed some geese 
but it received little attention until it spread through live poultry markets in Hong Kong to humans in May 1997, killing six of 18 infected people. From 1997 to May 2005, H5N1 viruses were largely confined to Southeast Asia, but after they had infected wild birds in Qinghai Lake, China, they rapidly spread westward. The intermittent spread to humans will continue, and the virus will continue to evolve. Map 2003 as of the July 25, 2008 FAO Avian Influenza Disease Emergency Situation Update, H5N1 pathogenicity is continuing to gradually rise in endemic areas but the avian influenza disease situation in farmed birds is being held in check by vaccination. Eleven outbreaks of H5N1 were reported worldwide in June 2008 in five countries compared to 65 outbreaks in June 2006 and 55 in June 2007. The global HPAI situation can be said to have improved markedly in the first half of 2008 cases of HPAI are still underestimated and underreported in many countries because of limitations in country disease surveillance systems. In January 2004 a major new outbreak of H5N1 surfaced in Vietnam and Thailand's poultry industry and within weeks spread to 10 countries and regions in Asia, including Indonesia, South Korea, Japan, and China. In October 2004 researchers discovered H5N1 is far more dangerous than previously believed because waterfowl, especially ducks, were directly spreading the highly pathogenic strain of H5N1 to chickens, crows, pigeons, and other birds and that it was increasing its ability to infect mammals as well. From this point on, avian influenza experts increasingly refer to containment as a strategy that can delay but not prevent a future avian flu pandemic. In January 2005 an outbreak of avian influenza affected 33 out of 64 cities and provinces in Vietnam leading to the forced killing of nearly 1.2 million poultry. Up to 140 million birds are believed to have died or been killed because of the outbreak. In April 2005 there begins an unprecedented die-off of over 6,000 migratory birds at Qinghai Lake in central China over three months. This strain of H5N1 is the same strain as is spread west by migratory birds over at least the next 10 months. In August 2005 H5N1 spread to Kazakhstan, Mongolia, and Russia. On September 29, 2005, David Nabarro, the newly appointed senior United Nations System Coordinator for Avian and Human Influenza, warned the world that an outbreak of avian influenza could kill 5 to 150 million people. David Navarro later stated that as the virus had spread to migratory birds, an outbreak could start in Africa or the Middle East. Later in 2005 H5N1 spread to Turkey, Romania, Croatia, and Kuwait. 2004 in January, Japan, Hungary, Russia, and the United Kingdom joined the list of nations seeing a resurgence of bird deaths due to H5N1. In February, Pakistan, Turkey, Afghanistan, and Myanmar joined the list and Kuwait saw its first major outbreak of H5N1 avian influenza. 2005 in March Bangladesh and Saudi Arabia each saw their first major outbreak of H5N1 avian influenza in Ghana in May. 2006 As H5N1 continued killing many birds and a few people throughout the spring in countries where it is now endemic, in June Malaysia and Germany saw a resurgence of bird deaths due to H5N1 
while the Czech Republic and Togo experienced their first major outbreak of H5N1 avian influenza. In July France and India also saw a resurgence of bird deaths due to H5N1. 2007 As of the July 25, 2008 FAO Avian Influenza Disease Emergency Situation Update, H5N1 pathogenicity is continuing to gradually rise in wild birds in endemic areas but the avian influenza disease situation in farmed birds is being held in check by vaccination. 11 outbreaks of H5N1 were reported worldwide in June 2008 in five countries compared to 65 outbreaks in June 2006 and 55 in June 2007. The global HPAI situation can be said to have improved markedly in the first half of 2008 cases of HPAI are still underestimated and underreported in many countries because of limitations in country disease surveillance systems. Avian influenza virus H3N2 is endemic in pigs in China and has been detected in pigs in Vietnam increasing fears of the emergence of new variant strains. Health experts say pigs can carry human influenza viruses, which can combine with H5N1, passing genes and mutating into a form which can pass easily among humans. H3N2 evolved from H2N2 by antigenic shift and caused the Hong Kong flu pandemic of 1968 and 1969 that killed up to 750,000 humans. The dominant strain of annual flu in humans in January 2006 is H3N2. Measured resistance to the standard antiviral drugs amantadine and remantadine in H3N2 in humans has increased to 91% in 2005. A combination of these two subtypes of the species known as the avian influenza virus in a country like China is a worst-case scenario. In August 2004, researchers in China found H5N1 in pigs. In 2005, it was discovered that H5N1 could be infecting up to half of the pig population in some areas of Indonesia, but without causing symptoms Cheryl Nidham, a virologist at Erlaga University's Tropical Disease Center in Surabaya, Java, was conducting independent research earlier this year. He tested the blood of 10 apparently healthy pigs housed near poultry farms in western Java where avian flu had broken out, Nature reported. Five of the pig samples contained the H5N1 virus. The Indonesian government has since found similar results in the same region, Nature reported. Additional tests of 150 pigs outside the area were negative. In Bangkok, Thailand, all the cats in one household are known to have died of H5N1 in 2004. Tigers and leopards in Thai zoos also died, while in 2007 two cats near an outbreak in poultry and people in Iraq were confirmed to have died of H5N1, as were three German cats that ate wild birds. In Austria, Cats were infected but remained healthy. Cats in Indonesia were also found to have been infected with H5N1. The spread to more and more types and populations of birds and the ability of felidae to catch H5N1 from eating this natural prey means the creation of a reservoir for H5N1 in cats where the virus can adapt to mammals is one of the many possible pathways to a pandemic. 2008 Variants have been found in a number of domestic cats, leopards, and tigers in Thailand, with high lethality. The Thailand Zoo tiger outbreak killed more than 140 tigers, causing health officials to make the decision to cull all the sick tigers in an effort to stop the zoo from becoming a reservoir for H5N1 influenza. 
A study of domestic cats showed H5N1 virus infection by ingestion of infected poultry and also by contact with other infected cats. The initial OI report reads, the clinical manifestations began on October 11, 2004 with weakness, lethargy, respiratory distress, and high fever. There was no response to any antibiotic treatment. Death occurred within three days following the onset of clinical signs with severe pulmonary lesions. January a dead cat infected with the H5N1 bird flu virus was found in Germany. Source who confirmed human cases of H5N1, he incidence of human cases peaked, in each of the three years in which cases have occurred, during the period roughly corresponding to winter and spring in the northern hemisphere. If this pattern continues, an upsurge in cases could be anticipated starting in late 2006 or early 2007. Avian influenza epidemiology of human H5N1 cases reported to WHO, the regression curve for deaths is Y equals A plus EKX, and is shown extended through the end of April, 2007. Hans Seidinger the top agriculture official in the southern state of Styria, Austria announced that several still living cats in Styria have tested positive for H5N1. It was announced in the August 2006 CDC Eid journal that while literature describing HPAI H5N1 infection in cats had been limited to a subset of clade I viruses, a Qinghai-like virus killed up to 5 cats and 51 chickens from February 3 to 5, 2006 in GRD Jotiar. Two of the cats were available for examination. Cheryl Anwar Nidam of Erlaga University in Surabaya, Indonesia, told journalists last week that he had taken blood samples from 500 stray cats near poultry markets in four areas of Java including the capital, Jakarta, and one area in Sumatra, all of which have recently had outbreaks of H5N1 in poultry and people. Of these cats, 20% carried antibodies to H5N1. This does not mean that they were still carrying the virus, only that they had been infected, probably through eating birds that had H5N1. Many other cats that were infected are likely to have died from the resulting illness, so many more than 20% of the original cat populations may have acquired H5N1. February March June July H5N1 has been transmitted in laboratories to many species including mice and ferrets to study its effects. A purposely mutated strain in ferrets has engendered a notable international policy debate regarding the openness of scientific research, the mandates of public health, and the potential for bioterrorism. H5N1 was transmitted in the wild to three civet cats in Vietnam in August 2005 and a stone marten in Germany in March 2006. The BBC reported that a stray dog in Azerbaijan died from the disease on March 15, 2006. People living in areas where the A-virus has infected birds are advised to keep their cats indoors. Cats can be infected through the respiratory tract. Cats can also be infected when they ingest the virus, which is a novel route for influenza transmission in mammals but cats excrete only one thousandth the amount of virus that chickens do. The concern is that if large numbers of felines and other carnivores become infected, the virus might mutate in a series of events that could lead to an epidemic among humans. Dogs, foxes, seals, and other carnivores may be vulnerable to a virus infection, Dr. Osterhaus said. Tests in Thailand have shown that the virus has infected dogs without causing apparent symptoms. 
H5N1 has the potential to infect cattle. Asymptomatic shedding of H5N1 by infected calves and subsequent seroconversion is possible. Bird-to-calf transmission resulting in seroconversion is probable. While the incidence of clinical infections of cattle with H5N1 in H5N1 endemic regions should be low, serum from bovine species would be a valuable source of additional information about transmission events especially in regions like Asia and Egypt, where HPAV is endemic and probability of contact between poultry and cattle is high. 2009 January 2 February 2 March 2 April June 2 2010 February 3rd, 2011, June 3rd, December 2012, February 4th, May 2014, January 3rd, Suidi, Felidi, October 2004. February 28, 2006 March 6, 2006 August 2006 January 24, 2007 Mammals in general